Next, I'm going to show you how to create a setup sheet for this project. So, with all of these operations selected, we're going to right click our mouse and we're going to select Setup Sheet. Now, with the setup sheet, we can put in some information. Uh, one of the areas is Project. We can put in the name of this project. So, I'm going to put in TFM Turning 2X Sample Part. And then for customer, you could put in a customer name. I just put in Acme. Programmer, that's where you would put in your name. The drawing number, I just put in a random part number here. Revision level. And then you can put in some additional information. We've got three notes that we can add. So I've got locate and chuck per the drawing. Now we can also use the camera down here to take snapshots of the part. Now the part that we have is a 2D profile. It's all flat. Now if we had a 3D model, a solid model of some type, we could use this camera to take snapshots of the part from different views. And Basically all you do is select the camera icon and maybe go to whichever view you want. So I could go to an isometric view and then click on the camera and it will capture that image. Now I don't really want to capture this because it really isn't much to look at. So I'm just going to go back to a top view. I want this to be centered on the screen so I can see my clamps and my part completely. And we're just going to OK out of this. Now the reason I want this to be centered on the screen is because I do want it to take a snapshot view for my setup sheet. That's the view I want it to use for the cover of the setup sheet. So I don't want it to take an isometric view of that. I want it to go from the tool plane view. So with these items set, we're going to hit OK, and it'll generate our setup sheet. Essentially, what it did was took a snapshot of all the tool paths that I had selected. So for every operation I selected, it created a snapshot of the tool path. So here's my report. We are in the report viewer now. It has the information that we keyed in. And then if we scroll down, there's the image that we had on the screen when we ran the report viewer. Here's the initial stock information. So you have basic information about the chuck and its location and information about the stock showing us it's a 5 inch diameter with a length of 5 inch and 50 thousandths. And the Z reference shows that 50 thousandths should be sticking off the face from Z0. Then we have our first operation, which is our lathe facing operation. It tells us here that'll take about 12 seconds. Shows what the stock will look like when that operation's completed and the tool that we use to do it. Next, we have our roughing operation. It tells us the cycle time shows us which tool. Then we have our finishing operation. Then we have the operation where we did the undercut. And finally we have our threading operation. Following that, we have a description of each tool. This has all the information about the tool as it came from the tool library. So you've got your holder information, you've got your insert information. It tells you which operations this tool has been used on. Same thing here. Description of the holder, the insert, and which operations. And then finally, our threading tool. So essentially that's the setup sheet. Now, if you wanted to save this, you would go to File, Save As, and you can save it in a number of different formats. I would recommend saving it as a portable document format, which is a standard PDF file. Now you can save it as a uh, report document or in an HTML format, but if you save it as an HTML, you need to put everything in the same folder it's not quite as transportable as if you had a PDF file. 
you can certainly experiment with all these different file types but again I would recommend the PDF as the file format to use so you can click that give it a name save it in whatever location you like and then you'll have this setup sheet available you can either print it out to give it to the operator or if they have a terminal out by their machine they can bring the setup sheet up on a screen on a computer by the machine and that is how to create a setup sheet